I began experiencing anxiety when I was at school. I was um, probably about 13, 14 years of age. Um, I was always a perfectionist. I um, wanted to be the best. I wanted to do really well, get top results in all my subjects. And um, one year I haven't done so well in my exams. And the following year they introduced the SATs examinations. Um, I became very, very anxious about the exams, um, made myself ill, experienced depression. Um, I just thought that I couldn't get through these exams, they just became the world to me. Um, I used to run home from school crying to my mum, um, I hardly ate, really, really affected me. Um, coming up to the exams, I actually experienced my first instance of depersonalisation. Obviously back then I didn't know what it was, it was very, very scary for me. Um, I couldn't concentrate, I felt very detached from reality. Um, People would say things to me, and I'd almost have to feign emotions because I wouldn't feel anything. Um, and it affected me through my school years because I was having time off. Um, you know, I didn't feel able to concentrate on my subjects at school. And it just really, really frightened me. It felt like I was in a void, um, slipping into a black hole. I always sort of use the analogy of sipping into a hole and I was trying frantically to get back out of the hole into the light, into reality and normality but it was just so, so difficult and um, throughout the years sometimes I'd even cut myself to try and feel some kind of emotions I'd throw things around the room, I'd just lie in bed crying it was just such a difficult thing for me to deal with I think probably the, the root of my anxiety was the fact that I always pushed myself so hard to do well at school and it was always the thought of failure um, my dad also um, experienced anxiety and he did in fact have a nervous breakdown when he was 18. He was working under very pressurised conditions, um, he was doing some technical graphical drawings and because he was doing so well his boss had said to him right you can take over managerial post and as he explained it just got you know, too much for him and he had a nervous breakdown so I suppose there is that in the family. My grandfather was also having a nervous breakdown um, because of my nan's um, physical health. Um, so to me, I think it was the pressure that I was under at school and really the thought of failure. I mean, from the age of, of about 14, when I did experience the symptoms, I was visiting the doctor and I had a very kind of pat on the back, oh, you know, you're a lovely girl, you shouldn't be worried about things. You know, very patronising, really. We weren't really understanding exactly what I was going through. Um, the doctor did finally refer me to a specialist. Um, they did a physical examination and came up with the, the idea that it was actually a, a mental illness. Um, and over the years, I've seen countless psychiatrists, psychologists, um, taking antidepressants, um, for example, Prozac, um, Stelazine as well, which I found out recently that it was actually an antipsychotic drug and could have lo lasting um, long-term side effects, which was quite scary. Um, and also lithium, which is used in batteries, and I had to regularly have blood tests to see that the levels hadn't got so high that it could be toxic in my bloodstream. Um, so those are the, the sort of conventional medical um, experiences that I had, and then visiting psychiatry psychologists. But also I did try um, other avenues. I tried hypnotherapy, um, visiting a nutritionist. Um, Reiki as well, um, did level one Reiki and also had Reiki myself, aromatherapy massage, things like that. Um, so, you know, I, I felt like I was exploring every avenue that was available really to try and get myself better, always trying to keep positive that there'd be something eventually that would help me. Okay. Um, basically, I was off work, um, I had a period of depersonalisation, um, I was really trying to, to do something that would would make me better. And I was having a look on the internet, thought I'd do some research into anxiety and depersonalisation. And I came across um, a website for the Linden Method. Um, started reading through it and had a look at some of the stories that people had written and thought, you know, I can identify with this, which is quite reassuring. Um, and, you know, I spoke to my partner about it, thought, you know, this sounds something really positive. I spoke to my parents and I thought, well, I've got nothing to lose in buying the pack. I think it was a period when I'd been doing some sketching when I just sort of started to feel differently about things and then I noticed it at work, certain situations that I would have reacted with anxiety where I would have felt symptoms, I would have felt dizzy, um, you know, feelings like I was out of control and 
I just felt like I was handling things a lot better. I felt more positive, had more energy, and just generally a nicer person to be around. I think my partner probably had experienced a lot of my snappy moods when I was anxious um, about silly things, really, that weren't important. Um, that just generally, I just felt so much better about things. And I think people at work have probably noticed as well a difference in me. My partner certainly has, um, other friends and family, so it's, it's really made a big difference. And now I feel like I'm not looking towards the past, that I can actually look forward to the future. Um, I'm living a life anxiety free, which is fantastic. I found reading the manual really useful um, because straight away, um, reading Charles Lindon's story, um, it was someone to identify with, someone who'd been through similar experiences, and that straight away gave me an enormous sense of relief, because um, to me I'd always thought depersonalisation was something that was very, very rare, that not many people had experienced it, that it was some kind of alien condition, so I mean, that, that really reassured me. Um, I found the whole theoretical basis um, of the Linden Method really, really interesting, and it just made sense to me. Everything sort of clicked into place, really, thinking, well, anxiety isn't a mental illness. It is a behavioural condition. Um, you know, it made perfect sense. Um, I found other areas, such as diet, useful as well, um, relaxation, breathing, things like that. Um, the DVD as well, I thought it was great um, seeing other people who've been through the method, their own experiences, because that also reassured me that I could get through this. I just feel now, now that I know I haven't got anxiety anymore, um, it's not like this constant burden. Um, I always felt like I was carrying this weight that it could happen to me at any time. I could be out, I could have a panic attack. Um, I didn't really experience that many panic attacks over the years, but I did on the odd occasion, which were frightening. Um, but it was just great not having to sort of look over my shoulder and think, you know, well, I'm, I'm going to have any symptoms and and sort of be constantly worried about things and living in fear of fear. So now I just feel that I'm a normal person and I can just get on with my life.